Remote control. Don't be afraid, just believe. Mark 5, 36. He spent more than seven years locked away in a Hanoi prison cell. This brave U.S. Navy fighter pilot was shot down during a combat mission over North Vietnam during the Vietnam War. In this hell on earth known as a POW camp, he endured physical and mental torture, isolation, hunger, and more stress than any human being should be allowed. But he told me that no matter how horrific the situation, he never lost sight of his belief that God was in control and would see him through. Ralph Gaither told me his story more than 30 years after his capture. As I listened, I marveled at the strength of this man's faith and how it had sustained him during what must have been a terrifying, seemingly impossible and inescapable situation. In the Gospel of Mark, we read the account of a man who was also in what appeared to be an impossible situation. He had requested Jesus to come to his house and heal his dying daughter. She perished while they were on the way. But Jesus was in control. He simply said to the man, Don't be afraid, just believe. Then, according to Mark, Jesus brought the girl back to life. It was a miracle, as they say, of biblical proportions. It's likely that my faith and yours will never be supercharged by such an extraordinary event as the one Mark describes. But our faith can be strengthened by ordinary miracles that take place all around us. A healthy birth, a fever that breaks, a marriage that's restored, a child's first tooth. And in the case of the faithful fighter pilot, an eventual release from the nightmare of solitary confinement in a POW cell. When you encounter trouble or a fearful situation, remember that God is in control and it is not a remote control. He is as close as a whispered prayer. Pray for your own faith to be strengthened. Ask for guidance, wisdom, and power to get you through your situation one day, one step, one breath at a time. Today's truth, hang tough, don't give up, rely on God.